here in the front of me I have the MacBook Air M4 with the Apple chip has 16 gigabyte of RAM and 256 gigabyte of storage with 8 core GPU and then the 10 core CPU which is the base model this is running for $1,000 if you are a student you can get it for $900 here in the US in terms of this what we have is the Razer Blade 15 with 64 gigabyte of RAM 8 terabyte of storage the CPU is the 12900H Core i9 from Intel and then in terms of the graphic card we have the Nvidia RTX 3070 Ti the mobile version with 8 gigabyte of VRAM twin mode Motion is downloading right here and twin motion here is downloaded and ready to go this is not more of oh this is versus this or Windows versus Mac OS even though I prefer Mac OS this is more of here we have an ideal scenario and this will be our point of reference because even the price between the two machines this machine is way more expensive this is like three thousand dollars if you want to get it right now um, this is the 2022 version by the way if you want to get the newer version it is again three thousand dollars this older mo uh, model I don't think it's on sale anymore and if you can find it probably you will find it for uh, 2000 which is a bargain if you can this is only a thousand dollars and you can get it for nine hundred dollars as a student we are just going to launch twin motion and just see how much frame rate we are getting this is the first time i am running a twin motion on the m4 macbook air and i will be honest i do not use a twin motion but this is for the sake of testing for the people who are interested in twin motion to begin with you know we might be with a surprise where this would perform better than that we don't know we will see as soon as this is ready to go okay so i have them both open and right now the project that i am trying to open is the white studio so i have the white studio opening right here which did open and then i have the white studio opening right here as well so that would be a good comparison for example for which one would open a tiny bit quicker or maybe a lot quicker well a tiny bit quicker and probably it's just because i started the process here first and then i came here so in terms of the performance so we are looking at uh, the GPU RAM being used at 42% and we are getting 15 FPS which is good because the quality setup that I have on the M4 MacBook Air is that shadows high view distance high effects are high post processing high textures are high anti-aliasing is, is high and then point to cloud now let's move around and see if that's gonna change things at all Oh, I thought moving is not as smooth. Moving is as smooth, it's just that we are getting 15 FPS. Now, we're gonna look at here. We are having 37 frames on the Windows machine, which means the FPS that we are getting here is double. And in terms of the GPU, we are using it at 97% because this is an SOC, so it has more GPU VRAM. Now, in terms of the CPU, here we are using only 6% of the CPU, and here we are using 15% of the CPU. And that is to be expected because the M4 without even me looking up anything it definitely in terms of performance is more efficient and then better performance than the Intel uh, Core i9 1200 900 H in terms of the triangles we have the same amount the light we have the same amount and everything else is the same amount now I'm gonna try a different project the basic lighting and then I would actually have a work table being downloaded but let's do go ahead and open that project so this is running so I did start this before this did open that was quicker we are still waiting for the M4 MacBook Air for it to open that is a different case in comparison to Unreal Engine because Unreal Engine in terms of opening a project it was actually better on the M4 in comparison to the Windows machine and I am not very familiar with twin motion as I said I'm just showcasing whatever that they are offering and then I let you guys be the judge the people who are interested in twin motion to begin with we are getting more fps we are getting 30 fps and it's still giving me the good quality mark and then uh, the total gpu usage is 88 percent and then the cpu we are only using 14 percent on the for the m4 and then here cpu here is 13 cpu here is 40 gpu here is 93 gpu here is 88 Meh. and the gpu ram here is 31 and here is 48 the quality setup on the windows machine everything is set to high and here 
for the quality setup everything is set to high as well except point to cloud is at uh, medium so if we put that at high as well honestly it's just all the same performance i do not notice uh, any difference in that regard we're gonna go ahead and try another project uh, as well this time i'm gonna try the work table and see what it would give us Here we go, here we have it. We have a shoe and all that funny stuff and then the same case is happening here. We have 30 FPS here and we have 120 FPS here. So the FPS, there is a huge difference now. This is 30 FPS, this is 122 FPS. The difference is a huge. In terms of the GPU RAM here, 62% usage, 39% usage. In terms of the GPU, 94% usage, 100% usage. In terms of the CPU, 32% usage and then 13% usage here. I think what is limiting with the twin motion for this honestly is the SOC because I think it's confusing whether we are using the RAM or whether we are using the GPU and this is just me speculating because I don't know how twin motion would be looking at the memory and such which actually brings a question is it twin motion native to Apple silicon or not especially with the new version that it has twin motion is actually native to Apple so that is a good thing you are wondering whether twin motion is going to be native to the Apple so it actually is native but it's obvious that the superior machine is the Windows machine so if you want to use twin motion on the M for MacBook Air the base model I do not recommend now again this is a point of reference this is the ideal so I know sometimes I might treat it as this versus this but this is our ideal scenario and it's our point of reference for the performance if you are okay with 30 fps as this seems to be the staple here go with that and speaking of which we are getting 60 fps with the monochromatic project so here we have 60 fps and then here we have 152 frames so the difference is a huge but the difference in the price is a huge as well because if we take it as a three portions 50 and 50 and 50 150 one thousand dollars two thousand dollars three thousand dollars and the price of this machine is three thousand dollars and the price of this machine is one thousand dollars so it's more of i am getting what i am paying for type of scenario and people this is all what i have and have a good night